Okay, this tech tip is on hand levels and how to adjust the hand level. And first off, you want to make sure your hand level is tight. Nothing is loose inside. If it shakes or something loose, you're not going to be accurate. And particularly your lens here. Uh, if you've got a two power or any other magnification hand level, the lens has to be tight. If this lens is loose, then you'll have some some errors. It's very easy to tighten just by taking a screwdriver and pressing down the ring until it is tight and doesn't shake. Also, when you take off the objective lens, it exposes the adjustment screw. On the Seiko hand levels, we use a Phillips. You'll need a number one, which is a small Phillips screwdriver to make the adjustment. Clockwise turn will raise the line of sight. Counterclockwise will lower the line of sight. It's always preferred to, to end your adjustment on clockwise. So if you're shooting low, you've got to bring it back up. Go low counterclockwise, then turn clockwise to come back up. But the best way to adjust one of these is by using a five foot steady stick and a uh, level floor. Most slabs in your home or your garage or your building, your office, is level enough to calibrate a hand level. Just find a nice flat floor that has a nice wall. Take your either your six foot folding rod or a six foot pocket rod. Stand it against the wall. Then with your five foot steady stick, walk about 20 feet, at least 20 feet, away from your rod. Center your bubble precisely and read the rod. If you're hitting five foot on your rod against the wall, you're calibrated, you're good. If you're not, you're either shooting high or low, that's where you unscrew the lens. If you're shooting low, turn it clockwise, it brings your line of sight up. Put the lens back on, make sure it's tight. Recheck yourself and continue that process until you get your hand level reading dead on as accurate as your eye can see and make the calibration.